2023 Toyota 4Runner Review, old but still capable. Today's midsize SUV marketplace is packed to capacity with car-based soft rotors, but there are still a few holdovers from the era when SUVs were created with body-on-frame construction. Of these old-fashioned offerings, the Toyota 4Runner is one of the great success stories. The current generation has been around since the 2010 model year, and, barring a facelift and some range adjustments, is still essentially the same truck as it was all those years ago. Buyers who value utility, durability, and genuine off-road ability above style and refinement won't care about that, though, because the 4Runner is as rugged and capable as any SUV could ever hope to be. The Toyota 4Runner's competitors include the conceptually similar Ford Bronco and even the car-based Jeep Grand Cherokee, both of which are more modern and comfortable. The new Toyota 4Runner SUV is offered in eight trim levels, all sharing one body style and using the same engine. Power is provided by the venerable Toyota 1G RFE engine, a 4.0-liter V6 without turbos or direct injection. It only produces 270 horsepower and 278 lbft of torque, which is sent to either the rear or all four wheels through a five-speed automatic transmission. Toyotas have a reputation for being tough as nails and the 2023 4Runner is no different. 2023 Toyota 4Runner changes, what's the difference versus the 2022 4Runner? The existing Toyota 4Runner model range continues unchanged from 2022 with the only big news being the addition of a 40th anniversary special edition model. Only 4,040 examples of this special edition will be built to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Toyota 4Runner's initial arrival in the USA. Unique features of this special edition comprise mostly cosmetic changes, with flashy tricolor orange slash yellow slash red stickers down the side to evoke memories of those early 4Runners, along with bronze-colored 17-inch alloy wheels and model-specific badges. The orange theme continues inside on the shift knob, bronze-colored stitching for the softex seat upholstery, some more badges, and a power moonroof. The 40th Anniversary Special Edition is otherwise identical to the SR5 Premium trim on which it is based. Pros and Cons Impressive Off-Road Ability Well-Equipped Comprehensive Driver Assistance Systems Good Value for Money Versatile Cargo Area Really Old Design Lumpen Driving Dynamics Old Generation Engine is Thirsty Choppy ride quality. 2023 Toyota for runner handling and driving impressions. Driving a 2023 Toyota for runner, the experience is much like driving an older light truck. Which, of course, is exactly what the 4Runner is, underneath that SUV body shell. It dislikes sudden direction changes at speed and washes out into understeer without any communication through the steering wheel. The ride quality is equally truck-like, with a bouncy gait as it moves over uneven surfaces. But that's not what the 4Runner is about. What counts here is the Toyota 4Runner's ability to do some serious off-road work over the weekend, while being just about civilized enough to be useful on the daily grind as well. It may not ride as smoothly as a modern, car-based SUV, but it's not exactly bone-jarring, either. Compensation for the stiff need ride comes in the form of plenty of wheel travel and good ground clearance to tackle fairly serious off-roading work. Verdict, is the 2023 Toyota 4Runner a good SUV? If you're looking for a 7-seat SUV with some modern style, lots of modern amenities and a quiet, refined ride, you'd be better off with something like a Honda Passport, Kia Sorento, or even a lower-trim Subaru Ascent. However, if you need your SUV to be as tough underneath as it looks on the outside, practical, with real go-anywhere ability and a generous helping of driver assistance systems to boost safety, the Toyota 4Runner will give a lot to smile about. It's not the most sophisticated SUV out there, but it's one of the hardest-working SUVs ever made. And it manages to be as useful in daily life as it will be when you take on rougher terrain. The IIHS provides an adequate safety review for the Toyota 4Runner, which could be better if it was modernized a little. But there's a reason it's remained so popular. It's just so good. 2023 4Runner Interior 
From the moment you step inside, there's no questioning the Forerunner's interior is dated. Interior designs from rivals like the Ford Bronco and Jeep Wrangler Unlimited are there to remind us, again, of the Forerunner's age. Overall, the cabin materials are fine but we noticed there are still a few too many hard plastic surfaces here and there. Some say the styling is bland. Others call it old school and find it charming, to each their own. Fortunately, the Toyota 4Runner's cabin is very ergonomic. The front and rear seats are comfortable and there's plenty of space. Visibility is also good, and with a flexible cargo system in place, the 4Runner couldn't be much more practical if it tried. Our tester also had TRD lettering on the headrests, which are nice, but not something worth paying a lot extra for. Seating and interior space. The Toyota 4Runner will comfortably seat five average-sized adults. The third row allows for seven humans if they can squeeze in there. Headroom is good across the board, peaking at 39.3 inches in the front, and legroom is pretty decent too. Six-footers will love the legroom up front, but taller passengers could feel a bit tight in the second row. The third row should be reserved for kids only. The front seats in the base model are fabric trimmed and offer 8-way power adjustability for the driver and 4-way adjustability for the front passenger. Even short drivers should have no problems finding a comfortable seating position. Higher up in the range, the seats gain more premium materials such as perforated leather. 2023 4Runner Trunk and Cargo Space other than its ability to go off-road, the Forerunner's primary purpose in life will be to haul people and their stuff around town, and for that, you need a ton of cargo space. If that's important to you, then you're in for a treat, the Forerunner offers class-leading figures, although if you're planning on going for three-row seating, those figures drop significantly. Behind the third row, you'll get 9 cubic feet of space, and behind the 40-20-40 split reclining and fold-flat second row seat, you'll get 46.3 cubes. With all the seats flat, you'll get 88.8 .8 cubes of space. Go for the standard two-row seating configuration, and you get an impressive 89.7 slash 47.2 cubes behind the first and second row respectively. Inside the cabin, you get your standard small item storage features such as a glove box, door pockets, 10 cup holders, or 12 in three-row models, and a center console storage compartment. You also get an overhead sunglass compartment and optional storage systems such as a sliding rear cargo deck with underfloor storage. The 2023 Toyota 4Runner comes in eight trims, although they all have the same engine under the hood. That motor is a 4.0-liter V6 with 270 horsepower and 278 lbft, paired with an old-school 5-speed automatic across the range. 2WD is the standard configuration on all but the TRD Off-Road, TRD Off-Road Premium, and TRD Pro, which are all AWD only. All-wheel drive is optional on the rest of the range. Standard features across the lineup include all-LED exterior lighting, heated exterior mirrors, a rear-view camera, optional third-row seating, and Toyota's Safety Sense system. This includes pre-collision with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, automatic high beams, and dynamic radar cruise control. The base model has cloth seating and manual air conditioning, but moving up through the range adds Softex simulated leather or real leather, dual-zone climate control, a blind spot monitor, and front and rear parking assist. All models share an 8-inch infotainment display, with lower-tier variants fitted with a standard 8-speaker sound system. A JBL setup with 15 speakers is available on top-end trims. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.